let us evaluate the continuous time integral of y of t equals to e to the power of minus 2t into u of t that is linearly convolved with u of t plus 2. Let us find out its convolution time integral. Here let us take the first signal has input signal x of t is equal to e to the power of minus 2t into u of t and h of t equals to u of t plus 2. We know that convolution time integral formula that is x of t is linearly convolved with h of t. The formula is y of t equals to integral of minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau into h of t minus tau integrate with respect to d tau. That is y of t equals to integral of minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau is e to the power of minus 2 tau into u of tau. That is e to the power of minus 2 tau into u of tau. Whereas h of t minus tau is that is u of t minus tau plus 2 where t is replaced by t minus tau integrate with respect to d tau. Before evaluating this integral let us draw the input signal and the impulse response. Whereas input signal x of t is given by e to the power of minus 2t into u of t that is first to draw the e to the power of minus 2t this is the decaying exponential signal that is e to the power of minus 2t into u of t sorry e to the power of minus 2t whereas u of t is it exists from 0 to infinity its value is 1 from 0 to infinity when these two signals are multiplied you will get the input signal e to the power of minus 2t into u of t that is decaying exponential signal this exists from 0 to infinity this is the x of t signal whereas x of t is a decaying exponential signal exists from 0 to infinity this is a fixed signal and u of t plus 2 that is h impulse response is given by that is u of t plus 2 is it exists from minus 2 to plus infinity whereas u of t value is 1 from 0 to infinity u of t plus 2 means shift the signal to the left hand side by 2 units it exists from minus 2 to plus infinity here this is also infinite duration signal and this is also infinite duration signal we need to convolve the two infinite duration signals okay now from this we can get the upper and lower limits of the integration that is from this we know that that is u of tau is equal to 1 when tau is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when tau is less than 0. Similarly second signal is that is u of t minus tau plus 2 is equal to 1 when t minus tau plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 that is t plus 2 is greater than or equal to tau where tau is less than or equal to t plus 2. From these two signals u of tau and u of t minus tau plus 2 we can get the lower and upper limits of the integration. First condition says that it exists when tau is greater than or equal to 0 that means tau should not be less than 0. Second condition says that tau is less than or equal to t plus 2 that means tau should not be greater than t plus 2. This gives the lower limit. This gives the upper limit. Next we can write that is y of t is equal to integral of 0 to lower limit is 0 upper limit is t plus 2 e to the power of minus 2 tau that is u of tau u of t minus tau plus 2 and integrate with respect to t tau. We know that first signal is in the range of 
0 to infinity. This is the first signal. This is the e to the power of minus 2 tau into u of tau. Second signal should come in the range of first signal to have a non-zero value output. For that, let us consider the three cases. Case number 1, when t is equal to 0. When t is equal to 0, what happens to the second signal here? That is, you will get u of minus tau plus 2. That is, when you draw this signal, it exists from minus 2 to, sorry, plus 2 to minus infinity. This is the u of minus tau plus 2. That means this signal exists from minus infinity to plus 2. The multiplication is possible with the first signal which is existing from 0 to infinity. The multiplication is possible from 0 to 2. Hence, y of t output is not equal to 0. Similarly, I will take the second case, case number 2. I will take t is less than 0. I will take one example, t is equal to minus 1. When t is equal to minus 1, what happens here? That is u of minus 1 minus tau plus 2. You will get minus 1 minus tau plus 2. This will become u of minus tau plus 1. The range of this signal is 1 to minus infinity. First signal is in the range of 0 to plus infinity. Second signal comes in the range of 1 to minus infinity. The multiplication is possible from 0 to 1. Hence, y of t is not equal to 0 when t is minus 1. Similarly, I will take t is equal to minus 2. When t is equal to minus 2, you will get u of minus 2 minus tau plus 2. Then it will become u of minus tau. This signal is 0 to minus infinity. Then also the multiplication is possibly the first signal only at zeros both signals are multiplied. When it is less than minus 2 the multiplication is not possible. Now when t is minus 2 the answer is also not equal to 0. Suppose if I take t is equal to minus 3. In that case what happens? u of minus 3 minus tau plus 2. This will become u of minus tau minus 1. This signal comes in the range of minus 1 to minus infinity. This is u of minus tau minus 1. How do you get this signal? First you consider only u of tau minus 1. u of tau exists from 0 to plus infinity. Tau minus 1 is 1 to plus infinity. Then you take its reflection. It comes from minus 1 to minus infinity. Then the multiplication is not possible with the first signal. Hence, the output is 0. That means you can conclude from here is when t is 0, output exists. When t is minus 1, output exists. When t is minus 2, output exists. When it is less than minus 2, output does not exist. That is output is 0. Similarly, I take third case, case number 3, when t is greater than 0. I will take one example that is t is equal to 1. You will get that is signal will become u of 1 minus tau plus 2. This becomes u of minus tau plus 3. This signal range is that is 3 to minus infinity. This is u of minus tau plus 3. Hence, when you multiply this signal with the first signal, multiplication is possible from 0 to 3. That means we can conclude that when t is greater than 0, output is not equal to 0. That is, output is not equal to 0. If I take t is equal to 2, it comes, the second signal comes from mm, plus 4 to minus infinity, then also multiplication. That means I can take any value when t is greater than 0. From these three cases, we can conclude that, from these three cases, we can conclude that, y of t output exist output is not equal to 0 when t is greater than or equal to minus 2 and its value is output 
फिफ्टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वन टी इज लेस दैन माइनस टू नाउ फॉर दिस कंडीशन आई शुड फाइंड आउट वॉट इज आउटपुट दट इज वन टी इज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू माइनस टू आउटपुट वाई ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू लोअर लिमिट इज जीरो अपर लिमिट इज टी प्लस टू ई टू द पॉर ऑफ माइनस टू टाउ यू ऑफ टाउ इज वैल्यू इज वन u of t minus tau plus 2 value is also 1 integrate that with respect to d tau answer that is integration of e to the power of minus 2 tau is e to the power of minus 2 tau divided by minus 2 substitute the lower and upper limits 0 to t plus 2 that is you'll get e to the power of minus 2 t plus 2 <laughs> minus 1 this can be written as 1 minus e to the power of minus 2 t e to the power of minus 4 whole divided by 2 this is the final output which can be expressed as t plus 2 because it exists only when t is greater than minus 2 this completes the problem thank you